So I've learned that I have issues following directions. Um, it says to use a broom to put it down, and I'm using a roller. And it says that it's for flat roofs, and I'm using a slanted roof. But I got the fibrous kind, so it's not too thin, and it shouldn't just drip through all the holes. It should uh, actually fill them in, but we'll find out. All right, so this is working out a lot better than I expected. I put it down kind of heavy at the beginning, and uh, the camera shut off before you got to see me do the Superman to catch the bucket of tar before it slid off the roof. That would have been cool. But, uh, like I said, I don't follow directions well. And uh, you're supposed to use a broom, but this is actually working out perfect because it fits down in the grooves. So what I've been doing is dipping this out, rolling it across, covering the top, and then sliding it down the middle. It seems to be covering it pretty good. Uh, but this stuff gets over everything. So I'm guessing pretty much everything's ruined, but I love Harbor Freight, so you know these are like $5 gloves. Um, I think you can get this whole kit with all the stuff for $10, so and that's the tray and everything. So, and some brushes and extra stuff. So I haven't looked at how much just the roller is. But I'll definitely need a new one. But uh, I think it's looking pretty good. I got started kind of late, so sun's going down already. Um, but uh, I guess I'll have to come back out this weekend and hopefully finish it up. I'm about a fifth of the way done. Uh, oh geez, can't even see my watch. I don't know, a couple hours probably. But once I get it going, it'll go quick. the whole roof with one bucket. Um, if I would have known what I was doing in the beginning, I could have easily covered this whole roof. But I wasted a ton right at the beginning learning the best way to paint this or put this tar on and now I get to buy a little more. Hopefully I can buy it in a smaller container, not a five gallon bucket. And it's a reasonable price. But we'll see. I think it looks pretty good. We'll finish it up and uh, we should have a waterproof shed. I guess we didn't uh, really think about that before we moved all our junk into it. But I guess we're saving money, so that's what matters right now. And the money we're paying to fix up the shed in the long run will save us a ton more. So we should be good.